Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Today I wanted to share with you something that I created. Um, rain should make crops grow faster in Minecraft. This has also appeared on the Minecraft Suggestions subreddit. So I wanted to uh, give it a shot and try to recreate this. Um, but this is of course not a perfect solution to this problem. This has a lot of contingencies which I'm not going to express myself because I think you guys will note these down as the video progresses. Uh, but nonetheless, I have a little system here which I'm going to explain a little bit later. This is something that a lot of servers can implement, but again, there are a lot of contingencies which you guys will know very soon. So let me explain what I've done here first of all. Uh, I'm going to clear the weather and I'm going to reset all these crops. Hold on. There we go. Now. These crops are going to grow at their own uh, isolated rate. Of course, this is a random tick speed thing, so different crops will grow uh, different, at different speeds. This is going to take a very long time. This might take uh, even an hour for all these crops to finally grow to their final stage or close enough to it. So I'm not going to stand around here, but you guys need to know that these crops are taking a very long time. All right, so I'm going to reset everything and then set the weather to rain, and you should see... Uh, the crops grow a lot faster when it starts raining. So here we go. Reset them all. Uh, the patches of farmland should... Yep, so it's starting to spread a lot quicker. And the crops should start growing a lot faster than before, as you can see. Now, this is fairly unrealistic because I set the, um, the, the stat, the, the tick speed, to something that's even greater than normal, or more or less, more or less not realistic. Um, but that's only because for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you guys that this is possible um, and also exploitable and uh, customizable too. But you can already see a vast difference in growth rate uh, depending on the type of weather. Uh, and you can see a lot of them have already grown to their final stage and can be harvested. Um, one of the problems which I'm going to say is it uses random tick speed. It doesn't affect water anymore, it doesn't affect lava anymore, which is boring, <laughs> but what are you going to do about it? It does have its positives, and this is one of them. Um, but of course, I'm not going to actually tell you guys the other large issue with this. In, it's something that isn't even practicable at all, but if someone can leave a comment and actually say it, um, I'm not going to be impressed, but first person who says that, I might even pin the comment because I think this is a pretty big issue with the way uh, this system works. But this is a very basic rudimentary system for detecting rain. Now how this works is very simple. Um, it's going to, first of all, this is just a timed redstone clock. I don't want to, I don't want to use a redstone clock here. Um, well, one that runs at 20 times a second. Uh, but essentially what it's doing is it's setting this block to, uh, to air. So it's going to summon a falling block, which is a redstone block. It's going to set it to air so it runs every now and then. During that time, it's going to set this to fire. And when it rains, the fire actually gets put out fairly frequently. So as soon as it's, it does that, it's going to set the random tick speed to 500. This is a very large value. You can set this to any value you want, which is great. Um, and since it's such a high value, the crops will grow a lot faster. And if you guys didn't know, you can actually fill an area with farmland, and you can fill the area above it with wheat. It's not seeds, it's just wheat and it will grow anytime you want. So this is more of a map making thing. This is perfect for map making, but probably not for survival, and you guys probably know why. Um, someone's gonna leave a comment, I bet. And crops definitely should be growing at a faster rate when it's raining, um, because the soil picks up the water, feeds into the crops, and they get food. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. Take care.